Hello guys, welcome back to my videos, and if you haven't seen this already, I normally make Minecraft videos, but in today's episode, I'm going to not make a Minecraft video, and I'm going to start making Scratch tutorials instead. Don't worry, they'll still be Minecraft videos every so often, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and this video will show you how to make a really cool mouse trailer, so don't forget to watch to the end and follow this tutorial on Scratch you can find at this website just don't forget to make an account or you'll lose all your progress you can see here so just make an account set the details and we can begin so let's get on with the video so today you clicked on this video for a mouse trailer right so we can begin by putting a when green flag click from events and put a forever loop and then go to motion and put a go to random position and change it to go to mouse pointer. So now if you press this green flag here, you can see that absolutely nothing happens. If you have a cat on your screen, then the cat's going to go to your mouse pointer. But if you haven't had anything, then go to the costumes. You can delete the cat, use this delete button, and draw a circle of any size you like, which can be your mouse pointer. So right now you can see it always goes to my mouse pointer. But this isn't a mouse trailer. This is the most boring thing I've ever created on Scratch. And maybe this is a little too big. So I'm just going to set the size down here to 75. And that looks much better. Maybe a bit smaller. 60. That's much better. Okay, so right now I just have a green, depth, green dot following my mouse, which is really boring. So, what if we made it a little more interesting? So if you go to control, there should be the clone blocks down here. So bring out a when I start as a clone and put a create clone of myself over here. Don't forget to put the arrows. This is all messed up. Now up a bit, you should find there's the repeat 10 block. So put it under the when I start as a clone and put a delete this clone after. It should be all orange. So now if we try this, it should make a trail of green dots following you. Don't worry if this is not green. So it should be perfect. But... This looks like a snake. This is boring. This is boring. Ew. Let's change it a bit. What if, when we have it start as a clone, it kind of fades away? Then, you can put change ghost effect by, say, 10. And then put it inside here. So now you can see that the dots fade away. Which is pretty cool. But still, they're like a snake. So to stop this, we need to make them go in random directions. So, you need to point in direction 90 under here, then go to operators and put a pick random 1 to 10, and change that from 0 to 360, which means that it can point in a random direction from 0 to 360, as you can see, all around the circle. So, that means that right now, it should do exactly the same thing. They're not moving. So, to make them move, drag a move 10 steps under here. And now, you should see it's a lot more interesting. Let's change it to something smaller. 3. And now they kind of spread around. And if you wanted rainbow dots, then that's easy enough to do. Just put a change, go, change color effect by 5. And now you can see they kind of become blue as they fade away. Maybe 10 is better. They become pink. So, I hope you liked this video, and this is probably the most simple thing you've ever created. And just before I leave, you might think that there's not enough circles. So, if you want more, then just duplicate this, and you can have more circles. You can see there's double as many. You can have as many as you, want, as many as you like, just don't exceed five. And then you'll have a nice mouse trailer. So, I hope you liked this video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.